Extra duty or regular duty? We're explaining the US Open ball change that might make the women's game look a little different in New York. We get a sneak peek at Rafa training at his academy, and we're looking ahead to all the matches you need to see on Tuesday at the US Open. The break presented by Evian starts now. Hey guys, I'm Johnny Ray Diaz. Welcome to The Break, presented by Evian. The 143rd edition of the US Open is underway, but this year you may notice something a little different during match play. Now for one, players can now call on video review to challenge things like a double bounce or a net touch, a welcome addition to Grand Slam tennis. But recently, the change everyone has been discussing relates to the ball used by the women. And before this year, the US Open was the only slam that had different balls for ATP and WTA draws. Wilson extra duty for the men, Wilson regular duty for the women. Now this year, it's extra duty for both. So, what does that mean? Basically, the extra duty balls have thicker felt. This means they fluff up and play slower. It also means they require more strength to hit. The tour claimed that regular duty balls prevented shoulder, arm, and wrist injuries in the women's game. But last year, pros like Iga Svantec and Paula Badosa called for a change. So, the WTA agreed to use extra duty for the women. Now, these slower balls might mean rallies are a bit longer. We'll see if players who rely on defense and finesse have an advantage over the big hitters. Okay, it's been 223 days since Rafael Nadal played his last match. He announced earlier this year that 2024 would be his last season on tour. Now, since then, we haven't seen much of Nadal training for his big comeback. But on Friday, we got a crumb, and I do mean a crumb of Nadal's training session. Now, this video shows Rafa on a treadmill with Uncle Tony standing nearby. They seem to be bickering, as always, but we'd love to see it. Now, hopefully, we get to see Rafa back on the court very soon. Our first round action continues Tuesday. Let's see who's taking the court on day two at the US Open. Top ranked American Jessica Pagula will face Camila Giorgi for the 11th time in her career. Jess has won eight of their previous meetings, still a tricky first round for the world number three. Venus Williams also takes the court on Tuesday. Now she was originally slated to face Paula Badosa in round one, but after the Spaniard pulled out, Crete men into Belgium replaced her. That match will kick off the night session on Ash. Also on Tuesday, Arena Sabalenka takes the court against Zanevska, while Ons Jabor will face Osorio Serrano. Over on the men's side, Carlos Alcaraz starts his title defense against 75th ranked Dominic Kepfer. San Warinka and Kei Nishikori will face each other in a battle of tour veterans. Now, Yannick Sinner will play Yannick Hanfman in a battle of tour Yannicks. Daniil Medvedev plays his first round match against Balash of Hungary. And keep an eye on Jack Draper as he plays a second tour level match since Roland Garros due to a shoulder injury. We'll see if the 21 year old can find the form that brought him inside the top 40 earlier this year. He'll play Radu Albot for a spot in the second round. Remember to watch Tennis Channel's US Open pre-show every day at 9 a.m. Eastern time. We'll see you tomorrow.